Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the new breaking news that there is a new Superman film coming. We're going to be theorizing about it. We're going to be talking about what could potentially be happening if Henry Cavill is coming back or not. Is it going to be a new version from somewhere out there in the multiverse? And considering that a new Supergirl just got announced the other day, is Supergirl going to cross over in this film? So if you do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. So you don't miss any DCEU videos as we head forward into the future. Because as you can tell from this week, we've been covering the new Supergirl news quite a lot. We've done three videos so far to a very good response so far. And I will continue to make new videos on Supergirl, The Flash, and lots of other stuff in the DCEU. So I'm really excited to talk about this today because we just got word that a new Superman film is currently in development. And I'm so excited because it may be something completely new. And I'm gonna be honest, I like Henry Cavill as Superman. However, I'm a big fan of the multiverse. So I think introducing two Supermen would be awesome. I think that would be amazing. And like with Supergirl, I'm really down to have Melissa's Supergirl on the TV show, and then also Sasha's Supergirl in the films. I think it would be amazing, and especially if they cross over. So let's go ahead and dive deep into this. So this comes from Shadow and the Act, who have exclusively learned from studio sources that Ta-Nehisi Coates is writing an upcoming Superman feature film from DC and Warner Brothers. And so they say the film is in very early development, with no start date or release date targeted. J.J. Abrams will produce the feature under his bad robot shingle. So J.J. Abrams is involved with the Superman film that has been rumored for many years. We thought he was directing it currently. There is no director attached to this specific Superman project. And so as of right now, plot details remain under wraps. Additionally, the search for an actor to play Kalau slash Superman hasn't started yet. And so from that, you kind of can tell that they're probably not going to go for Henry Cavill in this film. And that's not really a surprise, if I'm honest, because we've heard reports for years that Henry wasn't going to be involved, then he was going to make cameos, and there's been nothing conclusive. And obviously, he's going to be in Zack Snyder's Justice League coming out literally in a few weeks, and I'm going to be watching it very, very soon, so I'm excited to cover that on my channel. However, that is the only Superman thing that we're going to be getting with Henry, and that was filmed years ago. And I believe they would have just announced a Man of Steel 2 if this was going to be a Henry Cavill project. Okay, so let's move on. So there's a few quotes. To be invited into the DC Extended Universe by Warner Brothers, DC Films, and Barry Robot is an honor, said Coates in a statement. I look forward to meaningfully adding to the legacy of America's most iconic mythic hero. There is a new, powerful, and moving Superman story yet to be told. We couldn't be more thrilled to be working with the brilliant Mr. Coates to help bring that story to the big screen, and we're beyond thankful for the team at Warner Brothers for the opportunity said J.J. Abrams in a statement to Shadow and the Act. Also, Toby Emmerich, the chairman of Warner Brothers, said that we're very confident that his take on Superman will give fans a new and exciting way to see the Man of Steel. So yeah, that's the official statements. That is everything that you kind of need to know from the article. And so yes, Henry Cavill is not coming back in this film unless he has a cameo appearance. And this is like a multiverse thing where he's from another Earth, this new version of Superman who is going to be the main star in this film. And so it's interesting to note that in the article, they did specifically say Kal-El. And so some theories have been going around online about a black Superman being a part of this film. And so in the comics, that would normally relate to Val Zod, who is a big character. He's been around for a few years. And so he's a Superman from Earth 3 and he's different from Kal-El. And I think he could totally show up in this film if they are going down that route. However, because the article does specifically say Kal-El, I'm gonna say they probably are looking for a Kal-El, but that's not to say that Kal-El is not gonna be black because they are definitely looking for a new take on Superman. They're not trying to look for a Henry Cavill or a Tyler Hoechlin. They want someone who is different because obviously Tyler Hoechlin is over on Superman Lois right now. He's gonna be there for years to come. So I feel like they want something that is different, but they can totally cross them over and set it on another earth so that they can have Henry Cavill as well. And so a while ago, there was a story going around that Michael B. Jordan was trying to do a Superman film. Since this announcement, people have been speculating that maybe Michael B. Jordan might be cast as Superman in this film because Warner Brothers is still looking to introduce audiences to a black Superman. And that information comes from Boris Kitt on Twitter. So he is very reliable as well. And so he asked, 
will audiences be introduced to a black superman apparently that is the intent of what they tried to do a few years back with michael b jordan and it's very possible that the studio could return to that kind of idea and also return to michael b jordan but we'll have to wait and see because right now this is only hiring a writer so that you know the screenplay is going to be written and the superman story is going to be all ready for when they actually start production then they'll cast someone i'm sure we'll find out sometime in the next year or so and then they'll add a director and then that is when they're going to go ahead and properly start with this and so my theories right now is i think this is probably going to be a multiverse thing because they are doing these elseworld kind of stories where you have like the batman coming up which is said to be on like another earth it's not going to be part of the dceu so there is a chance it could be something like that like what happens if it is like val zod in the comics but they change his name to kal-el and it's from Earth 3. Now that would be really interesting and I would totally be down for that because me myself, I love multiverse stories. And so the idea of crossing over is just brilliant to me and I'm really, really rooting for it. Like with Supergirl showing up in the Flash film, I was so excited and I'm still so excited about that. And I'm really excited that maybe with this film, this could introduce a new Superman. Then you can cross over with like Henry Cavill Superman if he does want to do those cameos that were rumored for a while. And also, you could have Sasha's Supergirl coming over, and even Tyler Hoechlin from the TV show. And so, obviously it can be set in the DCU, and it doesn't have to be a multiverse story. Because that is totally an option, and they can have two versions of Superman on the same Earth, and just not show Henry Cavill's Superman, because I think the idea of doing something fresh and new is very exciting and it will give whoever is the director and whoever is the leading force behind this project the ability to do something different but still set within the DCEU and that world. And so talking of Val Zod, if they go with what Warner Brothers wants that is to introduce a black version of Superman, he is the way to go and like I said they don't have to call him Val Zod, they can just call him Kal-El and that's totally fine. But in the comics he has a relation to Kara zor aka Supergirl, who has literally just been cast in the Flash film, so Sasha Calais is going to be playing her, and I'm super excited about that, but their link in the comics is interesting, so if they go with something along the lines of Val Zod, they can introduce a very crucial connection, because in the comics, Val quickly becomes friends with a fellow orphan named Kara zor -El. That happens in the comics and so they both managed to escape Krypton by the help of Superman's parents and so over the course of his pod journey to Earth where he was supposed to go he was educated by his parents because they set a recording inside the pod and basically he became aware of how bad violence is and you know the powers that he was gonna get and how to use it for good and so when he landed on Earth he was founded by a guy called Terry and so he was actually taken in by him to protect him from the outside world because obviously he's an alien and he just landed and people would be very scared. And so later on, he was discovered by a group named the Wonders. And then they proceed to find out that he's Kryptonian. Then this all leads to him developing abilities. And so Lois Lane actually gets involved with him and basically teaches him how to use his powers by going outdoors and trying to fly. So those are a few of the many things that built up to him becoming Superman. And I think the most crucial part of this is his connection to Kara zor and Lois Lane. Because they were two big influential characters that helped his progression and I think their link together may actually show in the film. So I'm saying it's likely that they may want to involve Sasha's Supergirl in this film. So if they do go along the lines of Val Zod, I think they're going to be reading the comics and be like, yes, they had a connection here. And wait, we just cast Supergirl and we want more of her because she is very popular. She's a very popular character right now, mainly due to the TV show. But also the announcement was very well received by everyone seeing that Sasha had been cast. So they may be thinking, hey, look, we have this connection in the comics. And if we're introducing this new version of Superman, why not introduce and bring in this other version of Supergirl, this new Supergirl we've got in the DCEU, who is going to be showing up in the Flashpoint film with The Flash very, very soon. So she's going to be filming soon, and so they're going to see their first look at Supergirl, and if Warner Brothers and DC really like her, they may be like, yes, try and add in Supergirl to this, because then it would add an already established character to the film. Because by the time the Superman film is coming out, I'm presuming that the Flash film is going to be out before then. Sometime in 2022 it's set to release because they are filming in the next few months or so. 
So I'm really excited for this new take on Superman and again we don't know if it's going to be Valsor, we don't even know if it's not going to be Henry Cavill but as of right now it does seem to say because of this article they are searching for an actor to play Kal-El slash Superman. So it's very possible that we may see someone else and I think with DC and the higher ups really embracing the multiverse they're going to want to do these crossovers so I think it's very possible that Sasha's Supergirl may show up in the film considering the connections if they do go along these lines and also you may get to see other versions of Superman no matter if he's from an elseworld somewhere else in the multiverse I think you're still going to see some of those crossovers because they have put a real big emphasis on wanting to do things like that. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really excited for this new Superman film and excited that it's going to be something different. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any of the videos. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.